Earth, the planet we call our home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. Look closely, wherever you are, wherever you go, look to any dark corner, any deep crevice, any small space, and you might find something lurking, whether waiting in the dark, stalking its prey, building its traps, or hiding in plain sight. A tiny predator, the lion among the invertebrates, the king among the critters, the reaper of all things tiny and small. Spiders are among the biggest group of invertebrates, with over 43,000 species and 100 families, with many more potentially undiscovered. They can be found worldwide. Members of the class of arachnids, they are distinct from insects, having no antennae or wings, proportionally large fangs, and eight legs instead of six. More closely related to scorpions, ticks, mites, harvestmen, and solifuge. Spiders first evolved around 300 million years ago from crab-like ancestors, originally marine animals before taking over the land. Using silk initially to protect their eggs, only later using it as traps. With the first orb weaver spider emerging during the Jurassic period, able to create the distinctive wheel-shaped webs we know today, now forever trapped in amber. Though most spiders today are highly similar to each other in form and function, often targeting the same prey and inhabiting the same environments, they can be divided into two suborders. The primitive mesothelae, including the rare basal trapdoor spiders of Asia, and the more common apistothelae, which is further divided into two infraorders. Megalomorphae, which are distinguished by downward facing fangs and long lifespans of up to 25 years, including the heavy bodied, stout legged spiders known as tarantulas, as well as funnel web spiders. And Araneomorphae, including most other spider breeds, including orb weavers, cobweb spiders, crab spiders, jumping spiders wolf spiders, and huntsman spiders, distinguished by their fangs sloping toward each other and their short lifespans of around one or two years. Most spiders are predatory, feeding on other insects and invertebrates, with some larger species such as tarantulas also attacking small mice and lizards. The most common and best known method spiders have of capturing their prey is through spider webs made out of silk secreted from the silk glands through the organ known as the spinneret at the rear of the spider. Initially a liquid protein, spider silk turns solid when drawn out and forms a tensile strength similar to that of nylon, but is much more elastic, able to stretch significantly before breaking, which the spider then weaves into a complex web structure. with many spiders also using a particularly fine type of silk, known as gossamer, to form balloons or kites that they cling onto for locomotion, getting caught by the wind, allowing them to cross over isolated areas and even distant islands. Different types of webs exist, intended to capture different prey. From orb webs, flat circular webs that intercept and retain any prey that flies into it, and sheet webs, as flat, sticky web patterns across a flat surface. 
to complex shaped webs, such as cobwebs. Thick and three-dimensional, trapping their prey within a labyrinth construction, multiple threads ensnaring it from all directions. Or funnel webs, commonly placed in burrows and tree hollows, trapping prey passing by, with the spider waiting at the small end of the funnel. With tubular webs being highly similar, with a sticky surface running up in a tube shape around the base of a tree or along the ground. Additionally, there are the diving bell webs of water spiders, filled with air for the spider to breathe in the water. Or trap door webs, where the spider constructs a burrow or tube silk with a cork-like trap door. Others, such as net casting spiders, lunge at their prey, enveloping them in a pre-made web. While the bolla spiders swing a single thread with a large sticky ball of silk at the end to strike and capture moths. Wolf spiders, jumping spiders, fishing spiders, and certain crab spiders chase after their prey, relying on eyesight. Some target ants specifically, or ant food, such as aphids, and have developed means of mimicking ants to get closer to them. By holding their forward legs up, mimicking ant antennae, and developing light spots around their eyes to appear similar to ant-like compound eyes. Spider eyes are simple, though commonly multiple, and arranged in different patterns that vary from family to family. Most having much poorer eyesight than humans. Instead relying on bristles known as setae, sensitive to air currents and chemical senses equivalent to taste and smell, as well as organs known as slits and scillas, sensitive to vibrations in the joints of their limbs. as the spider's body is covered in a cuticle or hard protective outer layer made of chitin and proteins forming an exoskeleton for muscular support divided into segments with flexible joints even the heads themselves made up of several segments that fuse during embryonic development as the hardened cuticle of a hatch spider cannot grow Spiders regularly molt instead, shedding its old cuticle, with the spider often becoming reclusive and fasting before molting. The spider's body is divided into two segments, or tagmata. The forward one, also known as the cephalophorax, or prosoma. A fusion of what in insects is separated as head and thorax, covered in a hard convex carapace on top, and two flat plates on the bottom, covering the brain and stomach. In the posterior one, the abdomen, or a pistostoma, commonly egg-shaped and soft, covering the intestine, heart, lung, ovaries, and silk glands. The two tagmatas are connected by the pedicel, a small cylindrical part of softer connecting tissue containing the aorta. Spiders breathe using either book lungs, a tracheal system, or a combination of both.
a book lung being an organ with several layers and folds of air pockets and tissue filled with hemolymph, the invertebrate equivalent to blood, which is then exposed to its environment through a small opening. allowing air to enter and diffuse oxygen. While tracheal systems in spiders is a network of tiny tubes and holes running all across a spider's body. The transport metabolic gases to and from a spider's hemolymph or directly to the tissue and organs, including oxygen gathered from a pair of opening known as spiracles commonly fused together as one near the spinneret. The spider's head is often near indistinguishable from its thorax, with the brain taking up both parts, and featuring larger appendages known as pedipalps, and smaller ones immediately before the mouth, known as chelicerae, used in place of jaws coming together like a folding knife when they bite. Often thick hairs are present across the upper base parts of the chelicerae, filtering out solid lumps. As their narrow gut only allows for liquid foods. Spiders have two means of feeding, either secreting digestive enzymes into their prey, liquefying their insides, or grinding their prey to a pulp using the chili serrae in a preoral space akin to a mouth cavity. All spiders, except for the cribellate orb weavers, also secrete venom from venom glands out into the typically large foldable fangs at the ends of the chelicerae, enabling them to quickly incapacitate or kill their prey before feeding. Some spiders' venom also contain chemicals venomous only to larger mammals as a defense mechanism, such as rats, cats, and monkeys. While the cribellate orb weavers kill their prey by crushing them with silk, rapidly weaving it around their prey before they have a chance to escape. Each leg of a spider consists of seven parts, three joints connecting four segments, ending in a claw, always keeping at least four legs on the surface while walking or running. While most animals use muscles to flex their limbs, spiders use hydraulic pressure to extend them with only muscles existing in the so-called hip joints joining the closest segment, the coxa, to the trochanther. A system inherited from pre-anthropod ancestors, leading to dead spiders curling up their legs due to a sudden lack of hydraulic pressure to keep them extended. Sudden increase in blood pressure in the hind legs can thus allow jumping spiders to leap up to 50 times their own length. Most active hunting spiders also have dense tufts of fine hairs between their claws, known as scopula, allowing them to walk up smooth vertical surfaces. And even walk upside down. With some spiders also relying on the surface tension of water to be able to run across it, easily eluding many predators unable to follow. Many spiders are also effectively camouflaged against predators, with their coloration matching their most common environment, and some having disruptive coloration patterns such as blotches and stripes to break up their outlines, while others such as New World tarantulas and baboon spiders having urticating hairs on their abdomens, small bristles with a row of barbs on the tip that can be thrown by the spider when threatened. 
causing significant irritation to any portion of the attacker's skin exposed to the bristles. A few spiders rely on numbers for defense and form colonies, colonies that also share webs, cooperate to catch food and protect each other's eggs, with some tangle web spiders forming groups as large as 50,000 individuals. Spiders reproduce internally, but indirectly, in that the female is not fertilized directly by the male, but through an intermediate stage, with male spiders spitting small sperm webs into which they ejaculate, after which they transfer the sperm to a syringe-like structure on the tips of their pedipalps, used to inseminate the female through her genital opening. Mating is typically preceded by elaborate courtship rituals. To prevent the larger females from eating the smaller males before fertilization. Rituals that in web weaving species often consist of precise patterns of vibrations in the web that serve to signal to the female that the male seeks to mate effectively hypnotizing her. For actively hunting spiders, the male instead touches the female's body in highly specific places for the same result. While jumping spiders, known for their comparatively superior eyesight, use gestures and dances to court the female. After mating, many female spiders coming out of their state of hypnosis turn to eat the male, who often willingly sacrifices himself, providing the nourishment needed to produce the many eggs later laid by the female. Spiders can lay up to 3,000 eggs at a time in one or more silk sacks. which some species then hide in nests, carry around until hatching, or attach to their webs. Baby spiders pass all their larval stages inside the egg and emerge as spiderlings. Resembling miniaturized versions of their packs. often left to their own devices. They're able to hunt for themselves. Despite their size, spiders have long been one of the most feared animals on the planet. With arachnophobia, or the abnormal fear of spiders and anything reminiscent thereof, being one of the most common specific phobias, particularly in Western societies. With over 50% of all women and 10% of all men exhibiting symptoms and up to 6% of the population worldwide having severe cases, causing severe unease and panic at the mere sight of even a harmless spider. While culturally spiders have long been a symbol for patience, stemming from their hunting technique of setting a web and waiting for their prey, as well as world building and creation myths in both Africa tribal cultures, as well as Native American traditions, such as the Hopi and Navajo belief in the spider grandmother, thinking the world into existence through the weaving of her webs, with the ancient Egyptians worshiping the spider goddess Neith as a weaver of destiny. The word arachnid itself coming from the name in Greek mythology, arachne, meaning spider, Spiders have been created as the resurrected soul of Arachne, princess renowned for her weaving.
while in later traditions, spiders have commonly been associated with evil and mischief, often significantly depicted in horror films and literature. With giant man-eating spiders as a popular subject of fantasy and sci-fi horror, playing with the common audience response of uneasy disgust at this item. as well as significant reputation for being venomous. Though widely feared, most spider venom is harmless to humans. Its effects rarely worse than that of a mosquito bite. Most spiders also only bite humans in self-defense as a last resort. With fewer than 100 reported deaths worldwide during the last century, only the funnel web spider and Brazilian wandering spider are known to be both highly venomous as well as aggressive. Spider venoms are typically classified into two categories, necrotic venom, breaking down the soft tissue around the bite, causing cellular destruction and infections that could lead to death. A rare venom found in recluse spiders and six-eyed sand spiders. And the more common neurotoxins affecting the nervous system, causing cramps, respiratory arrest, and cardiac palpitations, or even cardiac arrest, which is the venom of widow spiders, wandering spiders, and mouse spiders. With the black widow spider being the most notoriously venomous, the female having unusually large venom glands in proportion to its small size, and with 36 reported deaths in a 30-year period. Though contrary to common perception, these cases are the exceptions to the norm, with many bitten every year suffering few ill effects, with effective antivenoms existing for all widow spiders, as well as most other severely venomous spiders. Though often seen as a pest, spiders actually help eliminate common infestations of insects such as flies, mosquitoes, and cockroaches, as they are the primary predator of insects in most households. Despite their popular image, some primarily larger spider breeds such as tarantulas have also become known as occasional exotic pets. Easily managed, tarantulas can live over 20 years confined in a simple terrarium. With smaller spider breeds easily kept in simple jars with sand or soil and leafy or rocky coverage for up to two years. Spiders have also been found to possibly be beneficial to humans, with spider venoms a more natural alternative to pesticides, as most venoms do not affect vertebrates, but are deadly to insects. Additional medical uses for spider venom are also being investigated, including usage as a treatment for cardiac arrhythmia, Alzheimer's disease, and strokes. And due to the high tensile strength of spider silk, attempts are being made to synthesize it to produce clothing. In parts of South America, spiders are also popular as a delicacy, with tarantulas commonly cooked and consumed. After the highly irritant, urticating hairs are removed. In most societies, however, the public view of spiders remain negative with pest control and pesticides often targeting spiders specifically. Though often with mixed results, giving the unfailing endurance and prevalence of spiders everywhere. So commonly feared, hated, and misunderstood. Spiders nevertheless persist in every part of the world in great numbers. And show no signs of stopping remaining among the world's most prolific predators.